I feel like you married me so I could roll your roll my eyes at you. No, you're just here to help me set up jokes. Oh, <laughs> wow, that is the most expensive setup of your life. Oh yeah, no, the punchline's gonna be the divorce proceedings. <laughs> Great, you'll pay. You'll sure, pay. sure. Why did you marry me? I married you because I knew it was right. And there's part of me who like, you know, I've been married before. It crushed me when uh, it fell apart the first time, crushed me. And I mean, I married you because I know, I can't wait to wake up and see your wrinkly old face, your deep Give me crow's six feet. No, like, <laughs> like there's sometimes I'll look at you in the morning and I like see your face and I see like your your crow's feet and I see like your gray hair and I like think about when you'll just like be all skin and bones and gray and like I want to see our lives live together and to wake up one day and like see that story told on our faces. That's what, that's what, that's what made me ultimately say yes, is I want to get to that point where I wake up and I see the history of all the life we've lived together, like you asleep on a pillow next to me. Cool. That got me teary-eyed. How do you think our relationship has changed in the last year? Oh my goodness. I feel like we got over our first like big hump. Because it was a challenging year. It was a really mm -hmm. rough year. I think you, could, you and I can both admit. Like, it was still a good year. It was a great year. I think we pushed ourselves maybe a little too hard. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, we bought a place together. You started school. And a new job. And a new job. Uh, and, it, and we were just married. And what's great about all of this is we're getting the traction we want, finally. However, I think it was just, we had to like really stop and go, oh yeah, us. Yeah. I think that was the hardest part about last year is like remembering that like all of this is great. What about us? And keep coming back to you and I as a couple. You're smirking. How has your love changed for me? <laughs> Um, it's only gotten bigger, deeper. It's funny, I look at you and I see my other half. You are absolutely my other half. I, I, <laughs> this sounds so cliche, I don't care. Uh, I don't feel complete if I'm not around you. If you're like out of town for a few days, which happens. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I think I told you the last, you were out of town for like three or four days. Oh yeah, when I was in LA. When you were in LA. Uh, and the first night's like, oh, it's super fun. I'm like gonna go home and get drunk and, and watch TV and just like be a lush. And then by day two, I was miserable. <laughs> I had nothing, I didn't know what to do with myself. I just kind of puttered around uh, until you got home. Like Aww. I just, yeah, I don't know. I was having fun. Yeah, I missed you. I was having so much fun. Yeah, rub it in. Yeah, <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing the end again? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's something that's fun to do and I, I think it's so interesting because I think when every time we come back we like are at a just like different point in our relationship yeah. and when we do it I think we like it, it's almost like it reaffirms the fact that like oh yeah yeah we do have good communication and I like you. Even on our way here, I was holding your hand. I was like, I love you. I love you a lot. I love you too. Uh, what is the next step in our relationship? A baby. It's a baby. Yeah, it's a baby. We're, we're, yeah. we're getting there. Yeah, a human life we're responsible for. If we were to have children, if we were to... When we have children, um, what kind of father do you think I'm gonna be? I think you're gonna be a really good one. I think you're gonna be high, like, you're a worrier. Yeah, oh hell yeah. You are gonna be 
you might <laughs> I foresee the fights when we start a family being about me being like chill it's fine and you not being able to stop worrying I maybe because I can just as easily see it go the other way mm. I could see it going the other way I'm you worry so much you are a worrier you worry if I'm warm enough you worry <laughs> if our you worry about our dogs over small things. I was like, you are a professional worrier sometimes. So I think that's the thing. Okay. Cool. What are you looking forward to in our relationship? Having kids. Can't wait. Cool. <laughs> How has our relationship changed since we first came on the end? That was like forever ago. We were like newlyweds when we did our first one. Yeah. What were we like married like three months? Something like that? Not even, Barely. I Barely. I think we just got married. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we've been together, we've been married almost five years now. Um, we've, we've, we've hit that point where we've been a, couple, a married couple longer than we were a dating couple. So most of our relationship I hadn't even has thought been about that. yeah. Most of our relationship has been us being married. Ugh. Um, I think we've changed a lot since we got married. Yeah, no. I think we've just gotten I like think we're. I think we're as silly as we were when we got married. We, we definitely still have as much fun as we as we used to. I don't think we've lost that, but I think we've gotten. I think we've got a better grip on, how, you, you know, how we handle things and how we approach things in in um, how we lay out our plans for the future. Like sometimes we know what is best for each other. And I think that's one of the big differences over the last few years is we've started to listen to each other more. And trust that. Yeah. That like, you know, as a big decision comes, I'm thinking, what would Andrew say? Like you're always in my head. I feel like I get to have two people up in here some days. <laughs> I'm, I love you. I love you a bunch. You know, in five years, I think we, made each other better people. I agree. And I take better care of myself. You do. So much better care. You, this is the healthiest I've seen you the whole time we've been, since we started dating eight years ago. Wow. This is the healthiest I've seen you. you your, so your hospital scare was about two years ago this week. You haven't been back to the hospital since. How have the events of 2020 affected our relationship in ways that we didn't expect? I mean, the most obvious is uh, a house. Moving to a house is pretty I big. never wanted to live in a house. You were I've very anti-house our entire relationship. Oh my goodness. The idea of a house has always stressed me out. You like I've always been like an apartment or a townhome. I do not want responsibility like for things. And then like I just had to lock you in a studio apartment for nine months. <laughs> I've never craved a door or a wall, a wall. Be between you and me. And mainly because of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the and thing. You're obsessed with the house. I'm obsessed with the yard. Like, just outdoor space. We I haven't had outdoor space in 20 years. Well, and it's so funny because everything we wanted, we got. You're like, I want a fruit tree. We have two fruit trees. You're like, I want a garage. We have a garage. Such, Fireplace. Such small things. Such small things. I'm so, yeah. Yeah. Comfort. I want comfort. St yeah. I still one day want a pool. I know we won't have a pool in this house, but I want a pool. One day we'll get a pool. I want a <laughs> pool. <laughs> we'll get a pool one day. What are we not doing? Well, we're not having a baby. Oh, that... Is that... Ugh. We talk about that. I mean, it, that's not what I would. Um, what? Well, no. I mean, it's fine. It's just I think you and I both it hit us this year that like if we could manifest a child like that, which what? also sounds horrifying the way I just put it, like it's... manifest a child like we took we took a child out of the thin air, which is not what I mean. Yeah, no. There's there's like 
crime documentary series about that. I you know. You don't do that, Keisha. Well, I won't. <laughs> but I, I think that's the one thing. I feel like so many things in our life are like amazing. I'm grateful. It's the one thing I feel like we haven't done yet. That I feel like we've been able to do all of the other things we've wanted to do, but we just haven't gotten to that yet. And I'm eager is not even the right word. I'm just ready. Like we thought we'd have a baby by now. That's how we kicked off the quarantine too. And so we've just kind of been sitting with that for nine months. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should be we should be having a baby like right now. Yeah. Oh man. If this was our last conversation, what is something you would want me you'd never want me to forget? That I love you. <gasps> that I love you more. And that God, that one. Yeah. Yeah. That I can't imagine life at this point without you. And I love you more than I can ever. <laughs> I just don't know. And I think you know that it's so simple, but I just need you to know how much I love you. I know. Sorry for digging my nails into you. Okay. Love Ugh. hurts. <laughs> it's so hard for me to not make jokes because I just want to make jokes. I know. But it's just that simple. <laughs>